hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys if your windows defender is not working and you are getting the different different error like this windows defender security service cannot be started or turn on windows defender security service so before fixing these issues guys first of all you need to analyze when this issue happened with you if you have installed any third party game or software on your windows so you may get this issue as well if sometime window is corrupted on your system so you may get this issue as well so we will proceed with the step by step so let's start the process so first of all let's start the process simply you need to open the cmd in order to make sure that the windows defender services are running or not okay run them as admin and so once you open the cmd as admin you need to just hit first command here control c and control v and if we see these services are running straight it means that services are running but somehow a windows defender is not working if you see could not find these specific file or location so it means we have to install the services for that how to install the windows services for that we need to head over to this website so basically we need to install two files here the first one is registry since it has changed the registry so we have to restore them back so close this once in the, it is installed its name is wscsvc.reg this is the registry file and this one is a dll file just you need to download this dll file as well so these two folders directly related to the windows defender service so let's cross this out and go to the downloaded folder so once you have downloaded these two folders guys you need to right click on the 64 zip first one and simply extract all extract okay just this is the dll file you can see here and this one is a registry just right click it and extract it so once you have extracted you need to double click on dot reg registry this will create the registry for the windows defender hit yes and hit ok options or also open the commands here with the notepad and once you open the command you need to run one by one so you need to run the cmd as admin and you need to hit this command first and the second one you need to run this as well and hit this so once you execute both commands here guys you need to cross this out cross this also and we need to go to the dll file here once this one 64 bit man you need to copy it right click and simply you need to copy it and we need to go to this pc then go to c drive then go to windows and inside here look for the syswo64 this one syswo64 double click on it and simply you need to paste the dll here you need to continue and once you pasted the dll here as you can see here we have set up the windows defender services on our system so let's open the services and check if that service is running run then as admin you need to run it as admin and look for the security security center this option and make sure it is running double click on it and startup type should be automatic or manual but services should be running here if it is not running just restart your system 
and after that your issue should be fixed so i hope uh, you have watched already this step on the other videos as well on the youtube so let's proceed with the second method okay after the restart your issue should be fixed if issue is not a big if you are facing any kind of issues while running these guys so let's move on to the next method now okay simply you need to open the cmd once we have rebooted the system and issue is still not solved uh, you need to run two commands here guys this will restore the windows health deployment imaging services management this is the dism command you need to paste it here deployment image servicing and management tool this will restore the windows image and once this command is executed you need to execute this command okay make sure this command is 100% completed it will take 10 to 15 minutes depending on the configuration of your internet okay once this command is executed you need to paste this command sfc and make sure you have completed this command also so once you have executed both the commands again restart your system guys so once you have rebooted your system after executing these both commands here check back if issue is solved or not if still not solved guys let's move on to the next method in the next method we need to restore all the windows apps including the microsoft store and windows defender as well so you need to open the powershell as admin here run it as admin okay and you need to paste it here like this control v and hit enter ignore all the red errors you need to make sure run it and after that it will run and it will stop automatically after taking some time So once this command is executed guys it will auto stop and you need to cross it out from here and also close this and restart your system and check back if that fix your issue or not. If these powerful steps are still fail to solve your issue guys let's move on to the final method. This is very powerful method this will restore all your windows while keeping your data and all the apps in a safe so let's open the google chrome basically we need a iso file you need to have a good internet connection in order to install the windows 11 iso file whichever version you are using of windows window 11 or 10 basically you need to install the iso file windows 10 iso you may need to install the windows 10 media creation tool but steps will be same ok just hit download and similarly for windows 11 you can directly download the windows 11 iso file multi edition hit next so choose your language and by this way we will take help of the latest ISO file in order to fix this issue ok and once the ISO latest ISO file is installed on your windows you have to run it similarly you have to make the ISO file of this media creation tool with the help of 22s2 the latest version so once you have downloaded the ISO file of the operating system which you are using guys let me show you you need to mount it so you need to right click on the ISO file if you are using Windows 10 
and you need to run it and click on mount so once you click on mount it will be mounted like this on your virtual drive you need to run the setup.exe and before setup.exe guys this will save all the data all the apps on your windows but you need to choose the some options here so by this process your system issue will be fixed and windows defender issue will be resolved also this will take help of the iso file latest iso file you just need to click on this option install you need to run the current operating system if you are using the windows 11 you need to run windows 11 if you are using the windows 10 you need to run the windows 10 iso file exe the process is similar make sure you have enough internet connection in order to install the iso file as well as install the latest windows without losing any data without any losing any software and apps you have to accept terms and conditions now here you will see lot of options three options you need to click on first option this one keep personal files and app you will be able to manage your windows setting and keep personal files and app will remain all the data all the apps as it is on your system so as you can see here the guys a screenshot the options you should able to look for these options install windows edition keep personal files and apps and if you are not able to tick this option click on change what to keep and then select this option keep personal files and app and if you are not able to click on these options you don't need to perform this step make sure you tick the option install and after that you will see the once you have installed the windows you will see the windows like this installing windows 11 or 10 and this will directly connect to internet and your fresh installation while keeping your data and file safe will be installed and you should able to fix the issue guys now so i hope guys this video helps you if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching